cannot, cannot. Okay, 16 and 17, I'm going to use the PowerPoint slides because I need to show you the uh, how okay, the things are being rotated. Okay, so give me one minute. Uh, I will share screen again. Okay, here. Jun Kai, I come back to you after this. Uh. Okay, now we look at this. Uh. This is the question. A uh, figure one shows a tri triangular card PQR with PQ equals to QR. Okay, and then the number of such cards were arranged along the four sides of a rectangular board. Figure two shows the arrangement, part of the arrangement. The keyword here is part. They never show everything. If they show everything, they are showing you the answer. Okay, so the key thing here is there are only 24 pins. Okay, and there's an equal distance of 40 cm apart from the pins, one pin to another pin. This is 40 cm. Okay, I see some of you telling me 360. Yeah, for part A, 360 is correct. So let me go on. Uh. Okay. So look at this. Huh? So I remove all the triangles. I just want you to see the dots. So what happens when the dots happen this way? You see that I can fill up four dots on the breath. So I just need to find out A and B okay, is from here to here. Okay, I have four dots huh, on this side. So what do I do? I know that the we have 24 pins in total. Huh? So you notice that I'm, what I'm going to do with these two pins here is that okay, I'm going to remove it. So once I remove 24 minus 4, that leaves me with 20 pins. So I want to know on one length, how many pins would there be? There will be 20 divided by 2, which is 10 pins. Okay, so 10 pins means that how many gaps of 40 would there be? So you, you just investigate. This is a bit like patterns also. So this is two pins, you get one gap. Three pins, you get another gap. So four pins, you get three gaps. So you notice that the number of pins is always one more than the gaps. So the gaps will be 10 minus 1, which is 9. And then each gap is 40 cm. So if I can find out how many gaps are there, which is 9, right? I can find out the total length of AB. So AB will be 9 gaps times 40 cm will give you 360. That's how we can find out okay, the length of AB. So let me clear this and show you. Uh. So you can see I'm trying to find out these two lengths, right? So just now we found out that it will be 20 divided by 2, 10. If you cannot imagine uh, 10 pins is 9 gaps, then I will say that you later go home. Okay, you're already at home. So you just draw out okay, the dots and you will see it better. So you can actually draw a line. Then you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 pins. Uh. Then you count how many gaps. Uh? 1, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10 pins will give you 9 gaps. Okay, that's how you can okay draw out if you cannot visualize. Okay, now next part. Okay, this is the important part. Ah. Uh, 8,800, yes. Everybody asking for the answer. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, I'm going to go through part B now. Very important is to look at this triangle here. What's so important about this triangle? This triangle is repeated throughout along the length and breadth. So if we can find the area of the triangle, area of one triangle, okay, first, that'll be good. So you must know this is, base is 40, height is 20, because you will see a 90 degree here, and this will give you 400. That is one square, uh, one triangle. A, answer was 360. Okay, so, so now, okay, I found out that AB was 360 cm, right? Just now from part A. Okay, now with this, 
we can find out the number of triangles along the length. So what can we do? You can see this part is 20. Okay. You can see this part is 20. Then from here onwards, you start to see that it's every triangle, which is 40 cm, the base. So now, I would like you to see, uh, I'm going to continue the slide to show you. If I fill this up, I will always get three triangles on the breath. Okay? This part. One, two, three. Okay? Then after that, what do I get? I will get, okay, a number of triangles along the length, which is what I'm trying to find out. If each triangle, the base is 40, and I know this is 360, what can I do? I can take 360 minus 20 minus 20. That will tell me, okay, the length from here to here, which is 320 cm. And each triangle will occupy 40 cm of it, right? Then you can find the number of triangles. What can you do? 320 divided by 40 equals to 8. You will see 8 triangles here. So now, I know that 3 triangles on the breadth. And I also know that 8 triangles on the length. Can I find something? Yes, I can find something. What can I find? Three triangles on the breath, eight triangles on the length. I can add all the triangles up and then multiply by 400. That's how you can actually get it. Okay, so later on, I will show you the, okay. So let me show you the answer. Wow, okay. Okay. Give me a minute. Huh? Let me clear all this. I'm going to write it out. So number one, okay, we are going to find area of one triangle, which is equals to half times 40 times 20. It will give you 400. Okay. Next, we need to find out the number of triangles. So we need to find out how many triangles in the length. So how do we find? We take 360 minus 20 minus 20, okay, divide by 40. So I will do step by step. Huh? So I want to, okay, wait, let me write again. I write it here, easier to see. Area of one triangle equals to half times 40 times 20, 400. So I want to find out, okay, the length that is without the 20 cm, okay, I get it as 320. How did I do it? 360 minus 20 minus 20 equals to 320. And each triangle has a base of 40. So I want to find number of triangles along the length will be 320 divided by 40 equals to 8. So now, if I add up the okay, number of triangles, what would I do in total? Your breadth has 3. Your length has 8. So what will we do? We will times 2 to give you 22 triangles. So total area will be 22 times 400, that's how you get your 8,800. Are you all clear? So I'm going to show you these are the steps that's required for the part 2 of the question. So far, okay? Can I? Okay. Let me go on to the last question. So I will say these are the ones that require to visualize and if you need to draw, this is possible to be drawn if you cannot visualize, okay? But for certain question, if really cannot draw, 